Thank you for tuning in. Today we're going to be taking a look at NVIDIA Shadowplay. NVIDIA Shadowplay is a feature located in the NVIDIA GeForce experience and it allows you to record your games or even stream it live. So today we're going to show you a step-by-step -step easy process on how to actually record your own gameplay. So first of all you need to actually turn on the uh, GeForce experience over here. We're actually recording this video using uh, shadow play so we're not actually able to adjust the settings but we're gonna look through each setting over here so on the right side you're gonna click on shadow play so you need to click on this switch once this green light turns on it means that shadow play is enabled and you can actually start recording um, there's a few options over here for mode we're gonna go for shadow and manual there's actually two types of recordings for shadow play one is um, shadow time which means that it will record the last few minutes of your gameplay and one is manual which records the uh, gameplay at that point in time so the second one is you're going to look at shadow time so this is actually a very interesting feature uh, what this does is that you don't have to be recording all the time in order to keep let's say you made a spectacular play in CSGO and you want to record it you can just activate shadow time and you'll record the last 4 minutes last 10 minutes depend depending on your settings the next one we're going to look at is quality so for quality we're going to go for the medium quality we find that this doesn't take too much out of the GPU while it does produce great video quality for audio depending on whether or not you're using an in-game microphone or you're using an external recording device uh, you can adjust the audio accordingly but um, the most important thing here is actually just to adjust the quality to medium so that you do have great video while not compromising on your gaming performance so once you're done with this, we're going to go to preferences over here and click on shadow play. So there's a few more options over here. The first one is camera. So what camera does is that it will actually record your webcam as well as your gameplay at the same time. So if you're a user that likes to show yourself, there are some popular users out there like Sing Sing for example, a uh, popular professional Dota 2 player that you know uses the uh, camera option. The, the second one is the status indicator. So this shows whether or not you're recording at that point in time. The one is FPS counter. This one is particularly important for us because we like looking at benchmarks, especially when we do game bench benchmarking for our different systems. And uh, yeah, the FPS counter can be activated over here. For the microphone, you can go for the push to talk. We find that that's the better one, which prevents any sort of static background noise. For the keyboard shortcuts, today we're just going to be looking at the manual recording. So we've actually set it to Shift F2. Um, you can set these keyboard shortcuts to anything that you like as long as it doesn't conflict with your in-game uh, keys. So we're also going to be looking at toggling the FPS counter which is Shift F7 off and on. So this one is, is important because we always look at benchmarking. So now we're going to look at Witcher 3 and show you how Shadow Play runs. <laughs> Right now we're running Witcher 3 on the Aftershock W17 which is one of our high-end gaming notebook systems. It's powered by the NVIDIA GTX 980M graphics card and that's the fastest mobile graphics card in the market today. We're also using the Intel Core i7 desktop CPU. So we've got the game running on high settings so I'm just going to show you over here. So it's on high preset. On post-processing it's also on high. And so I'm just going to run around, just just to sh show you how Shadow Play works. So it's actually currently running on the 50 plus FPS, and the the frames tend to, to waver from around the 40 to 50s range for this game, depending on which area you're in and how many enemies there are at a point in time. So what we like about Shadow Play is that it allows you to record gameplay without much hassle you know it's straight out of the box you don't need to download any other software or even buy any recording peripheral devices and it's great for users that want to start recording th their stuff so once, I once I'm done with this video and I'm happy with it I can actually press shift F2 to stop recording and go to back to the GeForce experience click on shadow play and click on the folder over here and actually open the file that I was recording so now we're going to show you what the video recording looked like. Okay, so now I'm going to open the uh, video that we just recorded. So I'm going to click on Shadow Play, click on this folder button over here, and open up the file that we just ran. 
so it's going to open up on VLC and we're going to fast forward a little bit as you can see the, the recording of the video was actually really good it's definitely good enough for a YouTube video if you're looking for more professional quality of course you can go for the higher settings but you'll need a more demanding uh, more high-end system so thank you for tuning in uh, we hope this uh, video helped you with learning how to use Shadowplay. If you've got any questions, you can just drop us a message on our YouTube channel or visit us at www.aftershockpc.com. Thank you.